you are planning on watching the solar eclipse on Monday, chances are you'll want to take a picture or two. And the good news, you don't need a fancy camera to get a good photo. You can just use your smartphone. So we spoke with experts about how to get the best shot with your phone's camera. Tip number one, use the most updated smartphone available to you. The newer it is, the better the resolution on the camera. So you're gonna get better quality photos when you have a, a great phone. Tip number two, don't use the flash. To turn it off, open your camera and look for this lightning icon. Tap it until you know it's off. The sun is plenty of light. It's nature's flash. You don't need any more flash to help this celestial event look great on your phone. Number three, don't zoom in. It decreases the quality of the image. You can always edit the photo later. NASA advises people to take wide shots that show the landscape. Number four, use burst mode. Hold down on your camera button to take photos in rapid succession. Everyone's inclined to just get it, get it with that perfect shot with your thumb. And like, that's a lot of pressure. So if you activate burst mode and just hold your thumb down, you'll get a bunch of really good photos from which to choose later. Number five, use a smartphone lens filter. The lens cover will be really good because in addition to making sure that only the most important light filters through, you actually have a really good shot of spotting some sunspots along the way if you use it properly. And lastly, stay safe. Wear Eclipse glasses that are ISO and CE certified. These are the OG cameras. We wanna keep these well protected. To know they're legit, look for this number, 12312-2. Happy viewing. Our team has been working on a ton of Eclipse related stories leading up to the big event on Monday. So to see more of those stories or to learn more about the Eclipse, you can text the word Eclipse to 207-828-6622 and we will send a link right to your phone.